Hey guys. Today I'm gonna to share a nice easy recipe for a fresh tasting and delightful artichoke dip. The artichokes we're using are frozen artichokes and I'll tell you why. They're really easy, they come all prepared for you. You can certainly substitute fresh artichokes if you want to. You can steam them and prepare them as you like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the frozen because they're super convenient. I'm cutting off the crust of four slices of rustic bread that's about a day old, so it's slightly stale, and cutting it into cubes. You're gonna need about three or four slices. It's gonna get blended in a food processor. Cover it with one cup of water, and then immediately squeeze the water out. You're just trying to lightly moisten this, rehydrate it, but not get it soggy. So don't leave it in there too long. Straight into a food processor. To that, add your artichokes. It's nine ounces of frozen artichokes defrosted. Two anchovies. These anchovies are adorable and I see they have capers in them, which I'm totally cool with. So I'm just gonna add them whole with the capers. Just a hint of sugar, about a half a teaspoon. Get the top on and start processing. While the machine is running, add two thirds of a cup of olive oil down the tube. That's it. You're gonna wanna season it too. Some salt and pepper. Salt, pepper, lemon juice. A little bit of lemon juice. A couple tablespoons. And then process it and taste it. I can always stir more in at the end, but you don't want it to get too acidic. It is party time. <laughs> This is really adaptable. You want a little bit more of the anchovy, go ahead and add more. You don't want any, you can leave it out. You don't really taste anchovy in here, but you do get a lot of umami or depth of flavor when you use it. It has a really lovely sweetness that you get from the artichoke hearts. How about a little bit of chive? Completely optional, but makes it pretty. Adds a little bit of bite. I like to put a little onion like this on the top at the end that way I can make this ahead of time. I find that onion flavor really grows over time. If you put it inside, it has a less of a shelf life. Like I say that you could make this like a day or two ahead. Drizzle with some oil. It's beautiful and it's tasty and it's super easy. Delicious artichoke dip. Mm -hmm.